This is Al the Punk Rock Farmer, and today we're here right here in my own backyard looking at my garden with Mike from Wasatch Community Gardens. We're going to talk a little bit about soil prep. This year I did it a little different. I left the compost on the top throughout the winter. Now I'm tilling it in, obviously, and you can see the difference in my soil. You can see the, the big chunks of clay over there where I don't till because of the grapevine covers the sun doesn't hit there. And uh, But you can see how nice my dirt that I just tilled up is. It's very lomus and very nice. Perfect. You think that looks good? I think that looks great. It has all of the ingredients that we're looking for in great soil. It's airy. You want a lot of air in your soil. It's got that black look to it, which speaks of organic matter. Now, one thing in Salt Lake City, we only have about 1% organic matter in our soils. And really what we're looking for is 5%. So we really want to, as much organic matter as we can get in there as possible. And the best source of that is composting. But I can tell just by the look of it, it's got that, 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 nice, that nice blackness to it that, that, that speaks of the, the organic matter. So I'm, I'm on the right track. Every year, just keep doing it. Is it, is it an overkill at some point? Honestly, Al, you can never add too much organic matter to your soil. You know, keep it every year compost because those that's what fuels your plants. That They are taking that out of the soil, and that's what's making your tomatoes taste delicious. So you've got to, repl- you've got to think about it as every year you're going to keep adding that, um, that organic matter um, as much as you can. Is there anything extra that we can add to it? I like the cover crop for a couple of reasons. One is a lot of the cover crops are legumes, which means they're going to fix nitrogen, and that's going to give your plants the extra boost that they need. And second of all, it just gives you another layer of kind of green compost that you can then till in in the spring, and it'll protect your uh, your soil from erosion. I'm I'm happy that I'm doing a good job. I really appreciate you coming out here to my garden today and giving me some tips that I can use and I'm sure that people out there can use too. Oh, it's it's my pleasure and you know, I I I say always start with the soil. Soil is the number one most important factor in great successful vegetables, great tasting vegetables. You start with the soil, you put in a little extra work, now is a great time. This is Al the Punk Rock Farmer, turning all our thumbs a little greener on your community radio station, KRCL 90.9 FM. See the farmer on the other side of town, he's always working hard till the sun goes.